picky eater gang, 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 gang. You're not gonna, you know she's a rapper, right? You know she could rap. Why don't you rap? You're kind of like Issa. Like I taught her, so I guess I'm Issa one. You could be Issa two. But Issa already exists, so there's Issa one already, the real Issa. Then there's Issa two, the character. And then I'm Issa three or Issa four. What's up, picky eater gang? Gang, 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 gang. 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 If you're on with the gang, gang you lame. You, you a lame -o. You a bozo. Don't, don't you know no. no. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't know why we're excited because I'm not a happy camper. Before she even tells you guys why she's not a happy camper, <laughs> let's let you guys know what we're doing today. We're doing a video like we promised on episode 10, the season finale of Instacar. And we're just giving you our reaction. Is it a reaction or, or just our opinion? Or yeah, whatever. we're giving you our review of uh, review of car the season finale episode ten. Yeah, basically the finale. So I'll let you go because I'm more attached to the show than you. So super attached. She's high key obsessed. Um, so let's just jump right into it. I think the whole episode was whack. It was just a whack ass episode. I didn't enjoy it at all. I think they wasted like 22 minutes of straight finding, what's her face? Tiffany. Yeah, like I don't care about Tiffany. Like I want to know what's going on with Issa and Lawrence and their love triangle. Well, they're square. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think they're love square because there's Issa, Lawrence, Condola, and the baby. And, and Ethan. So, oh yeah, I forgot about Nathan. Yeah, okay. so their their rectangle love or their love rectangle. I don't know, but I was more interested in knowing about that than finding out that like, Tiffany is postpartum depression, which it's real. That stuff is real, it's super real. But I didn't care about that. Not on this TV show. Mm -mm, no, no. Okay, well, after watching it twice. And listening, <laughs> I listened to multiple reviews. My initial, I was upset initially because one, I did not want them to Derwin and Melanie. I would have preferred if he's like, I got an STD or if he cheated with her. Yeah, I know. I was, I was think because in our recap of insecure season four that's what you said you were like oh i don't want them to dorn and melanie us you know and the whole time she was saying that i a part of me was like that's what's gonna happen but another part of me was just like hmm, maybe he like actually has like aids or something <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it to Issa. i don't want to i don't want to say that one i didn't want to put that one out there but i think that would have given the show a different kind of twist yeah now i i feel like it's like again guys like yeah. but actually i'm whole they could still twist this because i've been trying to figure out this timeline okay because it starts we know for sure that thanksgiving passed mm -hmm. that's end of november right mm -hmm. she wasn't well she could have been pregnant but i'll assume they didn't do anything that night because apparently they broke up right we're assuming that's when they actually was up. drinking that night too so oh she had wine and everything yeah, so, so then Issa asked him how was Christmas, so I assume Christmas passed. They're close, so that makes sense. One month, two months. They didn't say anything, they didn't touch on Valentine's Day. I doubt New Year's just passed because they didn't even give us a New Year's party. I'm feeling like it's around March at least, right? That's how you're feeling? Like it, it, it has to be like end of February, March because if Valentine's Day is coming, we're gonna know about Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Like, but did they say anything about Valentine's Day? They didn't, but I'm saying they made it a point to let us know that it was Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we went, Halloween was one episode, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving was another episode, and then uh, we didn't see Christmas she nice. had the block party. We know Christmas passed because Issa said, Did you go visit your family for Christmas? Mm -hmm. right? And what was his answer? His answer was no. Okay. Basically, they were on a they went on a cruise or something, and New Year's is such a big thing that you can't mm -hmm. New Year's can't be close and you don't see it anywhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm just feeling like we're around March. Mm -hmm. So that's November to December, one month. December to January, that's three. Like she would have a little bump. She definitely would know 
if it happened when like before everything mm -hmm. you understand what I'm but saying? okay so the only things that i could say about that is trying to find your timeline okay that that moment when um isa asked him on the couch like what about condola and he said we spoke but we're i'm done over. that's what he said yeah we're he done said, it's done it's so done. yeah that confused me now because that was after the tuesday remember that, that? was after that she called and she Issa texted found out. yeah yeah exactly yeah. so that was after that so if after that you guys were done and nothing it doesn't make sense to me where the pregnancy came but the only thing that's like mm, maybe she just didn't know is because when they do the clip of her telling lawrence he was just like is it mine <laughs> so <laughs> that kind of saved him to have me like okay maybe like she didn't know and she's only telling him i don't know but something don't add up so. something definitely doesn't add up this really confuses me because she didn't even want him at her house mm -hmm. for thanksgiving with her friends mm -hmm. and even her he didn't fit in with her friends i felt like she, he maybe embarrassed her a little bit like the friends who had inside jokes were mm -hmm. laughing at him and like i said she didn't even want him to spend she knows his family's not there so she knows like he doesn't have anybody, but she doesn't invite him. Mm -hmm. And then he invites himself, himself. and she's she's cool and with that. that right but there though was so wrong. Like, how are you gonna tell somebody like, oh, well, you basically invited yourself? Like, that's so rude. Yeah. So I don't see how she goes from those type of feelings yeah. to all of a sudden she she's, wants to keep the baby. Unless they did it again afterwards. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because if what they're saying is true and that was it and you didn't have nothing to do with her since that moment, which mm -hmm. is the impression the show has given us, mm -hmm. she's three months pregnant. Yeah. She knows. He must know. And that Tuesday talk where I have to talk to you, that's when I really think that moment happened. And I think, I feel like he hid it from Issa. Yeah, but... He, Issa stayed that night, so he never even went and seen her. No, that wasn't Tuesday night because remember the text was, um, and so we could do it tonight instead of Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That's what the text was, and he was just like, "I'll let you know. I'm wrapping up something. I'll let you know." Oh, so you think they met up that Tuesday? Tuesday they did the do. I don't know. I don't know if they did. But the that do, makes but so more sense. Maybe it was like a goodbye do. You know, like well, this we're is overdue. The, this is the thing because I'm thinking like because the I I was thinking more like the timeline before Thanksgiving. She didn't want to go that route with Lawrence, mm -hmm. but then maybe the distance of not having Lawrence and then she's just like actually I want to you know I miss him I actually maybe I do want to go there because we don't even know the breakup conversation mm -hmm. we don't even know how that that went we just know she says like would you still be with Issa if she didn't cheat and then we see her dissing Issa basically the next thing she tells Issa they broke up mm -hmm. You know, so we don't really know that conversation, how that went. Mm -hmm. But the, the impression the show gives us is that they were done Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. But now I'm thinking, like, maybe the Tuesday talk, he probably tells her, like, you know, you're right. I'm, I I met up with Issa and we're back I together. got closure. And I don't think they were literally, I don't think he was feeling back together. Mm -hmm. Because I, I would say that... The Tuesday is only a few days from the day they hung out. That him and Issa hung out. And they give us the impression again that him and Issa were, were, were hanging out every day since. Yeah, they did. But they don't give us a good measure of the timeline. Like the first one, you see what happened is like four months before. Mm -hmm. We see Halloween, we see Thanksgiving, we see the block party, blah, blah, blah. Does that mean like every episode is a month? I don't know. Or is it a week? Like, the timeline is not clear. But basically, I'm saying that Tuesday, I think when she went to talk to him, maybe I, I'm i thinking that the talk was like, I thought about it, you know, I want to give us another shot. I really like you, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, maybe they did something. He's, or, or before he did something, he's like, mm, you know, I, I was talking to Issa. I'm thinking I want to give it a shot with her. And then Condola, just like pretending to be understanding and then you know just one more time like a goodbye whatever mm -hmm. 
That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, because there's sense. no way that she was pregnant all this time. But that's why I said the episode was whack because I want to know. I want to know all, all those things that we're like having our theories on. They should have showed that in the 30 minutes rather than tell us about Tiffany. Well, the thing with Tiffany, I think it was an important dialogue, but not a season finale. Guys. That's not a season if that finale. that was like, like episode three or something. Both, not episode three, but like, let's just say there was one more show. I would have appreciated that because mm -hmm. like, I think that they were trying to do a play on finding LaToya, finding Tiffany, because we don't know what happened to LaToya. Was she found? Mm -hmm. They know because there's a reunion that molly won't let andrew watch mm -hmm. so we they know what happened to latoya mm -hmm. and i'm assuming since they're trying to make parallels with tiffany and latoya that latoya was found because we found tiffany mm, i didn't think of it like that that's a good that's a good point I, they just they just jump like mm -hmm. to the reunion mm -hmm. and you don't even tell us it's like part of the the show the whole time and then you don't even let us know what happened so how do you feel about that conversation between asian bay and molly because you did call it out what did i say you're just like oh like that's uh you're just basically saying like her attitude and just how she's acting is gonna be her downfall in her relationship with Andrew. You know what? I I watched. Um, <laughs> yo, <laughs> can we do our video, Nanny? I was listening to somebody's review, and somebody pointed out that Asian Bay was calling Molly on her stuff in the beginning, like before they were even a couple. So after thinking about that, I know at, Molly had the bad attitude, but it goes to my thing where I was saying when you're in a relationship don't change yeah that's why the people like you and i think andrew changed actually mm -hmm. he went from being blunt with molly and calling her on everything to being, to being softer passive thing. softer which i think most men do i think it's like when men are trying to get your attention and they're in the beginning of the relationship they're really soft and then i think a lot of girls make the mistake of taking advantage of that and but i don't think i don't think asian bay was soft in the beginning he was not soft no, he I was, think he became soft after Molly made that comment about him not wanting to open up to her and everything. That's where I think Asian Bay changed because okay. because if you but think, he didn't open up to her. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. But he 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 called her and he was just like, you know what, like I understand what you were talking about and like he he was super understanding and he was did just he like, call her? Yeah. Okay, because it seemed like Molly kept being like, oh, I'm sorry about this and then like. No, so if you remember, the time I'm talking about is when they were at, I think Molly had asked him to come over to just do a chill thing. They were hanging out, they were eating dinner, and then he was like, hey, we oh, he got plans. He was like, we could still catch the show if you want to, and okay. she was just like, no, I don't. I want to talk sit here to and you. talk with and you. And he's like, deuces. And then he left. <laughs> so I think, like, I don't know if it was the next day or two days later, he had called her, and he was just like, you know, like, I do see what you're talking about and he apologized for it and then she was apologizing and that's where I seen the change in Asian Bay. So okay. I just feel like Asian Bay was like it's a, it's just my smash and go ting, smash and go ting and then when he seen that she was actually interested on like a dating level, he let that guard down for Molly. And I think okay. letting that guard down how you say like girls take advantage. Yeah. That's when Molly started taking advantage. Yeah, she totally started taking advantage. And then Asian Bay was like, wait a minute. Like, nah, that ain't me, son. But that's, <laughs> that was just so, like, I don't understand how Molly doesn't see that. Because it's like, already you see, he didn't want to stay with you at your work function. He he wanted to leave. Wait, with, who would? Like, who wants to party with your work friend? Yeah. Like, anyways. So, and they still wanted to go somewhere else and he didn't want to go and he just stuck it up for Molly. And then when they got home, he wanted to watch the show and she was just like, no, you better not watch that without me. I don't want to do that. I want to sleep. I want to, I want to, yeah, I want to. Yeah, she's definitely a bully. Yeah, like, yeah, she's yeah. She's too aggressive. <laughs> but, but you can't expect to have a relationship like that, like a relationship with somebody and you're only taking, taking. Like, I haven't seen Molly once do something that, Asian Bay wants to do yeah and you know those kind of people annoy me because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who really it's like they're always gonna do only what they want to do mm -hmm. like you know what I mean like oh we had a meeting we were supposed to go somewhere I don't feel like it mm -hmm. like those kind of people I can't stand because for me it's like if I give you my word I'm gonna do something I'm going to try very, very hard, hard 
to see it through. I'm not just going to be like, oh, I don't feel like I'm not going to go. Like, I'll be like, nah, I said I'm going to do something. I'm going to have to. Whether I don't want to do it or not, I'm still going to do it. So, yeah. you have to give to get, you know? So, that, Molly. Mm, mm. But I don't think the relationship is over. Even though I see, a lot, I hear a lot of people being like, it's done, it's done. He didn't give me that vibe because if he was over he wouldn't have he wouldn't be asking Molly anything. He wouldn't be trying to conversate with her at all. He would have just That's not true. I think he would have left one day and that's it. You don't no. hear from him, he'll be short or whatever. Not everybody's like that. I don't think so. I, I think he's literally showing her, like I think he really likes her and he's just showing her like this is the type of person that you are and I can't be like that, you know? Like he's giving her the closure that he needs to get off he's giving her all the stuff he needs to get off his chest before he leaves. That's what I think. Because but why would you do that? You're giving the person the opportunity to change. If you're calling somebody out, that's something like if you want there if, if there's a glimpse of hope that they that it could work, you're giving the person this is what I need. If you don't want it to work at all, you're just gonna be out. Like he's gonna yeah. he's just gonna stop coming over, like he'll go over once in a while. Mm -hmm. He like when he calls, he'll keep it you know, mm -hmm. sure or whatever. I just, it's my obser observation of men, when they're out, they're out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. look at, look at Lawrence in the beginning. Like, when Lawrence he was, was out, out, he was out. <laughs> he didn't he look came, back. <laughs> he came back for a little nookie until he got his nookie nookie, you know what I mean? And that, that was it. Like, so I, I really feel like Asian Bay is giving Molly an opportunity. To change. But when he says to her, like, what are you fighting for? Like, she couldn't answer and I, I thought like immediately I'd be like because I love you <laughs> like that should be an automatic mm -hmm. but maybe she's just like because I, I, mean, I was like wait I don't love him <laughs> like yeah I don't no, know but I but that's what I'm saying like I think he's really into her and he sees that like she's not into him into him like she's into who he is on her shoulder you know what I mean like I feel like she's into going out and having him there or coming home and having him there you know what I mean like she just likes the company but i don't necessarily think that she's into into him and their relationship that's my opinion because when you're really into somebody it's it's not even a question you just automatically want to do what they want to do you, just like asian bay was doing he was doing all the things without a question he was just doing all the things that molly wanted to do i but i don't think that's literally molly's case because i feel like she hasn't been like that with anybody i don't remember her mm -hmm. being like that with anybody maybe the closest it came was dro but <laughs> she couldn't have dro and she cut that off yeah. so but she only I, cut it off because she couldn't have him so yeah but i think really who molly is in love with the most is her work so until like she find, she's no longer satisfied from work. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to be, again, like a love and basketball theme. She's going to lose all the men. She's going to be by herself. She's only going to have her job. And then she's going to realize, my job's not fun anymore, you know? Yeah. And then she's going to finally give herself to somebody. But Molly as a person, I don't think, has evolved to that level yet. It's going to be the same pattern, no matter if he's Asian, white, black, gray, purple, whatever. Mm -hmm. Because her first commitment is to her work because i find molly is very textbook mm -hmm. like to be the perfect girl you have to have the perfect body you have to have a nice shape you have to know how to cook oh and bonus i have a great job i make my own money mm -hmm. you know i think she's missing yeah. that stuff that a textbook can't capture yeah. like a real genuine, soul yeah. genuine you know so <laughs> why do you think she called Is isa and she asked her to meet with her at the at their restaurant they'd be going to. Because Issa really knows her. Mm -hmm. So Rhonda can only give her Rhonda could give her like Rhonda's advice was decent, mm -hmm. but she's forcing she's trying to force something out of Molly that Molly is not comfortable enough with Rhonda to give her. Mm -hmm. Whereas I feel like Issa knows Molly. She, me, she doesn't have to talk, really. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, they, they haven't literally been in that setting for them to sit down one-on-one -on -one and really let stuff out. But in general, Issa doesn't have... Molly doesn't have to talk. She, Molly could say something and Issa be like, you're lying. Mm -hmm, it's this, true. this, that. You know, and Molly has not had that for the last four months. Yeah. You know, so that's why I think she's all screwed up in her head. And the funny thing is, there's so many parallels because... 
when she everything she was naming at the block party, you're a user, you're this. That's exactly what she did to Andrew. Mm. Everything she accused Issa of was her. Yeah. And then what was it? There was another parallel. Um, when it jumps at me again, I'll say it. So how do you feel about Tiffany's husband? That whole scene when Tiffany's husband got her at the the door and he was just like, baby. Honestly, that part took me out. I can't even lie. I, I, I liked it, but it was a little off for me. But only after like, I, I was trying to figure out, I have five kids, guys. And I've, I've never been to that point. And it, it didn't make sense to me. I felt like it was exaggerated. But then I was listening to reviews and somebody pointed out that Tiffany is a perfectionist. Like, mm -hmm. her and her husband, they're always well done, well put together. You can't be like that when you have kids. Yeah. I'm not like that at all. So maybe that's why... For me to cope with motherhood was different it because was easier for you. I don't care what my hair looks like. I don't care what people think, you know. I'm not I, I'm not into perfection that mm -hmm. way. So then I instantly understood the moment and I got like like and I think also what was tripping with with uh Tiffany, she couldn't breastfeed. Remember that moment she's like, oh her law, she couldn't latch or whatever. But I think as a mom, you feel like a failure. You must feel like a failure. I don't know. I breastfed all my kids, but you must, because that's like, to me, ultimate motherhood. I don't think some people, because I know some people that are moms and they just were just like, I'm not like off rip when they were pregnant. They're just like, I'm not breastfeeding. It's not for me. I don't want my titties to sag and all that stuff. I agree with you, but which is why I said her comment was that the baby didn't latch, mm -hmm. which means she wanted to try. Mm -hmm. So I think the fact that she wanted it and it didn't work, maybe she was starting to feel like a failure. Like, mm -hmm. I just, the first I, I just think it was too much for her, you know, like sleepless nights. And you, because when you have your kid, right, your whole routine of being by yourself goes out the window. So you can't pee in peace. You can't leave the room in peace. Like you can't do nothing in peace. So for her, I just feel like she lost herself you know what i mean so yeah she lost herself because she was so into herself yeah you know but one thing i thought was so beautiful was Derek? how he was just like she's perfect like this guy is so in love with this he girl is. and the, another thing that trips me is what's her name kelly kelly is in love with her too like the people that are close to this to me i always look at her like oh what a sn selfish snob they love her, mm -hmm. you know, so there must be, I'm going to try to pay attention to her more. There must be something mm -hmm. endearing about her yeah. because they go hard for her. Yeah. Kelly, oh, don't mess with her, girl. Mm -hmm. And you see how Derek was going for her. And then he's just like, when they're, when he's describing her to the police, he's like, she's perfect. <laughs> and like, you can feel his, his love. love. Yeah. I, I loved when he was like on the bus with the, with the girls and he was just like, I can't. 15, when, when they're like, oh, you even gain five pounds he's for like her. He's 15. like, 15. Like, I'm like, oh, shoot. But when he showed up to the door, I didn't know how he was going to handle it. So to just, because for me, I always think something crazy is going to happen. Girl, so, I thought a man was going to walk yeah. by because people were tripping me because when we first found out they were pregnant, people were saying like, oh, it's for somebody else. So this whole time, that whole scene, I was feeling like, oh man, he's gonna walk by, she's cheating on him. Yeah. We're finally gonna meet the man, da, 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 da. And then it was just a beautiful... It was a beautiful scene. It was very beautiful. I love to see the support between a couple and stuff like that. So it was awesome. It was awesome. I, I love that part. My point is... It was too much! <laughs> my point is I just didn't want this to be... I didn't want that to be the last You episode. didn't want it to end, you see? That's no, why we're I, heartbroken. I, I didn't care that it ended. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying I didn't want that to be the season finale. You know what I mean? Like yeah. she said earlier, like if this was episode 9 and then there was a 10 or this was episode 10 and it was season finale was 11, I would have been okay with it. But to know that there's no more seasons for probably in, uh, no more episodes. Three until, years. For, you know what I'm you saying? They made us wait so long. But I felt like because it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, I could wait. <laughs> like, had it been episode eight, had that been, a, I would be dying. I don't know what I would be. Oh, but now I, I just really want to know the whole Condola and Lauren situation. I want to know about, um... Nathan and Issa because I really appreciate Nathan like just 
how he was where he was just like you know like i still want to be your friend i don't want anything to get and how he apologized for how he came about yo nathan. nathan's gonna flip and go beat up lawrence like what what did you do to my <laughs> I think so he's gonna beat him up but you know okay what I was gonna say about the condola so you saw my whole timeline thing right mm -hmm. that don't make sense to me so I'm thinking that maybe we're gonna find out condola is crazy that's why her husband divorced her and that maybe she's lying to Lawrence just to get him away from Issa or like maybe they did have that one last time and he put the condom in the garbage and she went out and did something <laughs> I don't know because the timeline doesn't make sense to me mm -hmm. so they, there has to be a twist but and that's another thing can we just say it right now if you don't want to have babies with somebody don't have unprotected sex point blank period like we're all grown we all know how babies are born therefore don't be doing the do if you don't want the baby this is the problem, men. I'm talking to you now, men, who are watching, because I know we have a lot of male subscribers. Mm -hmm. um, don't ask her if it's okay. <laughs> the power is in your hands. You have the first choice. You know, I was watching someone's channel, and they're just like, uh, because Condola is going to keep it. And she's like, oh, how come the men don't have a choice? Men, you have the first choice. Yeah. Keep your sperm to yourself. Yeah. That's your first choice choice mm -hmm. once you give it away it ain't your choice no it's more it's not your choice no more <laughs> <laughs> it's not your choice anymore so mm -hmm. keep that in mind going forward you know and yeah uh what's i gonna say okay doesn't lawrence was giving me weird vibes like when isa said like she'd be willing to do the long distance thing and then like maybe ultimately move there he gave me disappointed vibes really yeah like i got shocked vibes well this is the thing because this is why i'm saying when did condola really tell him mm. because i'm thinking like maybe he's just like all right i'm gonna enjoy this time with isa and since isa's miss inglewood she can't leave here you know that'll probably be an easy break for me i'm oh. gonna go to san francisco and we maybe like the long distance communication they'll fizzle maybe like but i thought he was taking the easy way out and he was hiding that whole thing thinking like he wouldn't have to deal with it mm -hmm. but, but now then that he sees that isa wants to make it work and i think like when he saw that isa was willing to give up everything for him i think he, he realized like wow she really really loves me mm -hmm. and that's when he's like i have to tell her mm, now that you said that that could be a possibility i don't know i'm kind of nervous now but whatever my nervousness is gonna go away by the next week because you don't forget about it <laughs> <laughs> i have to wait three years for the next one so what else but it was a good season i really appreciate it i'm um, gonna go back and watch from one <laughs> season one because now that i know different things now that i know the future i want to go to the past and make the connection why don't you, know? you just hit them up the next time you could be a writer on the show <laughs> If I was a writer, I would put some twist like, we'll see a scene where Condola went in the garbage and took the condom and da 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 da. <laughs> there would be Issa a Rae, like um, <laughs> if you ever stumble upon this video, <laughs> she's high key obsessed. I know a lot of your episodes were called low key this, low key that. She's high key obsessed. So please hire her as a writer. Um, she's gotten, she's graduated. I don't know how to write, but I have ideas. <laughs> she's graduated university, so she's not dumb. You know, she's super intellectual. Intellectual. I'm intellectual. There you go. She's that. <laughs> and yeah, so hire her. She'll even do it pro bono. Don't pay her. She good. Volunteer. <laughs> she would be yeah. that. You can afford it. Help a sister out. <laughs> But no, for real, we need to do a petition because we need at least 45 minutes. Like, do you not see, um, I don't know if it was Lawrence or Nathan, was, okay. but one of them on Instagram said, our show's 30 minutes, stop trying to change us. That was Issa who said that. No, I thought it was one of the guys. I saw she commented on it and was laughing, like, thank you or whatever. Oh, okay, I saw Issa say it too. Oh, okay. And she does a lot Instagram lives also. I saw Issa say it, but no, no. It's unacceptable. We need more. We need more. No, don't. Do you feel like I feel like they leave too much empty spaces for us to fill it in, and that's how they're able to mess with our minds. 
That's some good writing, guys. Keep it up. That's, <laughs> that's good writing that you guys are thinking like that and moving like that and writing like that. So applaud to you. I'm taking notes because I would love to write movies and scripts for like different TV shows and things like that. So I like that. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm a fan. I'm not obsessed. Like I could wait three years. I'm not going to talk about it again, but you won't see me log on to YouTube and my whole timeline won't be of reaction videos for Insecure. <laughs> mine so, totally are but yes i love the show and guys next season it's gonna be review from episode one all the way through all right guys if you made it this far in the video that means you, you like us you, you like us you really really like us so make sure that you are subscribed make sure that you hit that like button make sure that you comment however you feel however you're feeling comment down below make sure you share this video with your brunkles and your what do you call them brandy brandy <laughs> your, your brunkles and your brandy share them and yeah guys we are peace